to election security and the integrity of the vote, you are being lied to. The biggest lie of all is that somehow our state's voting systems are not connected to the Internet. We hear them say this all the time. Now, that may be true for the individual machines. It may not be, by the way. But it is certainly not true for all of the state and county databases. In fact, it's an absolute myth that it's not connected to the Internet. Your votes, in many cases, are being stored on a server in Frankfurt, Germany. Cybersecurity investigators tell me they can prove the nation's largest provider of election software, a system used in 28 states, not only uses servers in Germany, but it's also possibly infected by a malware called QSnatch. Investigators at Allied Security Operations based in Dallas tell me that they have found malware embedded in the software source code could be responsible for everything we're seeing right now. If that's true, even the nation's cybersecurity agency, CISA, warns QSnatch would allow hackers to find everything they would need to change votes in election databases across the country. Allied's co-founder, Russ Ramslin, told me he is not surprised he found QSnatch with the system as vulnerable as it is. He told this to podcast America, Can We Talk? Uh, we can even see malware sitting there collecting all the credentials of all the county workers everywhere who are submitting information up, which means you can now go back into the county and change votes there, too. Well, could this be what's responsible for all the malicious things we're seeing out there during this election? Maybe. He says because the voter results travel across a wide Internet spectrum from the county to the state, from the county to the election management companies, from there to the Associated Press and ultimately the media, hackers, he says, can actually make changes to votes in the cloud and backload those changes into county databases. He also says he has proof that it's happening.